Okay, wonderful people, welcome back to this channel where we bring you back to back information. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Information is power. That's why we are here for you. This one is coming from the Prime Minister of the Biafra government in exile, the live broadcast. Just kindly go on and pay attention as he unveils many things that you need to know. Uh, of course, you know that this is your channel where you need to be. If this is your first time of joining us on this channel, please go ahead and subscribe to our channel, like, comment, share, and also remember to on your notification button so that whenever our news drop, you will be the first who collect it. Oh right, yeah, let's go. Let's go to the video so that you can see it and listen to it by yourself. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon. Welcome to the program this evening. Uh, very uh, late and of course at the same time emergency broadcast by the Prime Minister of the Biafra Republic Government in Exile. I welcome you all to this particular emergency broadcast where we are going to unveil one of the states this evening of Biafra Republic and at the same time we are going to have a very brief exposition on the Islamization of Nigeria. The reason why you as a Christian, you as someone who believes in other religion and you are a Biafran, the reason you must make a very big U-turn this evening and begin to support the liberation of Biafra that is taking place as we speak. You are watching live and direct on Voice of Biafra 97.5 FM in Biafra land. You are watching live and direct on Enter Biafra Channel 2 and on all Biafra Republic of Medinezai media platforms. I want everyone to understand that the heat is on. The liberation of Biafra is something that must be done. Those who wear military uniform, those terrorists, occupiers, evaders, killers of our people, killers of our women and children who comes in the name of Nigeria military or Nigeria security agencies to our land to burn the houses belonging to our vulnerable women and children and kill them, will no longer be given a breathing space in Biafra land. I'm telling you the fact. The world has stayed mute while our people are being butchered and killed every day. Even when some media house in the United States and other parts of the world trying to create awareness, they all pretend that they don't know what is happening. So, our self-defense in Biafra land has been activated to the, full, to the fullest. And we are on full scale, water, water, to the enemies and the terrorists coming to our land. The killing in Izombe, the killing in Agua community, like I said, will be avenged and those perpetrators will never have a breathing space in Biafra land. From now, those who burn villages and communities in Biafra land, in our community to be precise, will not be given a breathing space going forward in Biafra land. These are the Nigeria army who disguise themselves as security agents. They know nothing about rule of engagement. They go to community, they kill women and children, and they praise themselves. But when they see the Biafra Liberation Army, they run, they abandon their vehicles and run into the bushes. I think that we are just talking on social media. Our self-defense mechanism has been activated to the full scale. And in a matter of weeks, like I said, we will begin to inaugurate the de facto government in the homeland immediately after we have unveiled all the state structures for people to know which state you fall into the structure of your state and how this particular state is going to uh, the state government of the biafra or their various uh, state government will start governance in biafra land so today we are going to unveil omambala state omambala state is a state created out of the current anambra state one of the states created out of the current Anambra state. And so, if you are from this part of Anambra, you know Mambala, it is time for you to pay attention to know the structure of your state, where you fall into in Biafra land. But before then, 
That is the reason. There are many reasons, numerous reasons why Biafra is coming. Why we are opting out. Why we are going to fight our way out if it is required, if it requires fighting our way out. And why we are going to negotiate peacefully, negotiate our way out if that is what it requires. But like I said, if it requires that we are going to fight our way out, I want you to listen just briefly. One of the reasons why we are going to fight our way out of Nigeria this year. Some of you may not understand when, uh, when we talk about Islamization. Islamization is uh, something and so many people were trained to do what you see them doing today. People like the, the pig in the Greek. The pig in the Greek. People like the pig in the Greek were trained to do, to be used as for a jihad. And that is what you see happening today. But you know, this current Biafra generation, we are going to end them. So what I want you all to understand that what we are doing is something that you must understand that we are going to do anything and everything to protect Biafra land. And I am going to start by showing you, uh, those of you, uh, those of you that are watching uh, <coughs> on YouTube, we may not be able to show this video on YouTube for because uh, <laughs> you know they are community nonsense. So if you want to watch the video, you are going to go to uh, Enter Biafra to watch it. Enter Biafra Channel 2. But first of all, before then, we are going to... ...ethnic cleansing against Christians in Nigeria. One America's Neil McCabe has more from Washington. National security expert Frank Gaffney told One American News that all over the world, people are targeted because they choose to follow Jesus Christ. But right now in Nigeria, it has become a slaughter. Nigeria is in the midst of um, an incipient civil war in which both indigenous forces, some from far removed, who have in common what I call Sharia supremacism, are engaged in a ethno-religious cleansing of Nigeria. Gaffney said the ethno-religious attacks on Christians had many layers. One is geography, with the country's heavily Muslim northern states officially governed by Sharia law. It is also in the north, where terrorist groups, where Boko Haram and West African ISIS, operate freely. Then there is also the local anti-Christian militia called Husa Fulani. Roughly half of Nigeria's 200 million people are Christian, but they are clustered in the center of the country and along the Atlantic coastline. These Christian regions are also where the oil and natural resources are located, meaning that the anti-Christian jihad is fueled by a quest to seize these riches. Gaffney said the humanitarian crisis for Christians can no longer be ignored. The trouble with this scenario is not only the bloodletting of innocent people simply because they follow Jesus Christ, but large numbers of those people will be fleeing the resultant mayhem. The graduate of Georgetown's Foreign Service School said the ongoing destruction of Nigerian Christians will go down as one of the worst genocides in history. We're witnessing a persecution of Christians on a scale that makes what Pol Pot and Hitler and Stalin and Mao did in their day combined pale by comparison. The human rights watchdog Open Doors USA ranked Nigeria as the 12th most hostile to Christians in their 2018 report. There was, quote, a seemingly constant violence, unquote, against Christians that so far this year has already cost hundreds of lives. 
Neil W. McCabe, One America News, Washington. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, thank you for watching that particular report from the United States. This report was as far back as 2019. 2019. Now, I want you to look at the report of 2023. Nigeria Muslim slaughter 700 Christians as farewell gift to outgoing president. This is what we are fighting for in Biafra. This is why we have picked up arms to defend our land. This is the reason why we have the Biafra Liberation Army. This is the reason why we have the Eastern Security Network. This is the reason why we are sourcing for arms and ammunition to protect our women and our children, to defend our land against terrorists that are in Nigeria Army, against Nigeria government-sponsored terrorism, against the ethnic cleansing, against killing of Christians that are in Biafra land. Biafrans are mainly Christians, Jewish, and traditional religious worshippers. So, I want you people to know when we are doing what we are doing, the reason why we are doing it. So we must protect our land jealously. We must protect our women jealously. We must protect our children jealously. We must also protect our own religion against these people that comes to say, if you don't believe in what they believe in, they're going to kill you. Apart from that, everybody knows what is going on all over Nigeria. So I'm not here to do that uh, in-depth analysis as usual. There are some, something else that I want to bring to the table. But before this, before we go into this, please, those of you watching from YouTube, please, we are, you are going to excuse us. So if you are watching from YouTube now, we urge you to go to enter Biafra because we are going to show something. We are going to show something. First of all, we are going to show the image of the blasphemy, the killing and the stoning to death. Someone who they claim for that they are killing him for blasphemy. That is the kind of country we don't want to be part of. So if you are watching from YouTube, please, we urge you to join us on Enter Biafra. We are going to show you one Wutu Wutu today. For the very first time, we are going to show you one Wutu Wutu. You know, we have been posting for the world to know that we are complete, in complete war of liberation in Biafra land. Our aim is to defend our land against the Nigeria government sponsored terrorism, jihadist movement from the Nigeria army, the police, DSS, and all of them. So we are going to show you small Wutu Wutu today for the very first time in our program. And then after that, the Wutu Wutu will be posted to our Twitter page for the world to know that we are in battlefield. Why they talk about Ukraine? Nobody is talking about Biafra. The war we are fighting in Biafra land today is worse than what is happening in Ukraine. Ukraine are using sophisticated weapon, new you know technology, new technology, airplane and fighter jet and stuff like that. We are not using that at, at this point. But let me tell you that what, what is happening in Biafra land is worse than what is happening in Ukraine. I'm telling you people the fact. And so we are going to be, since they don't want to report it, since the Nigerian media don't want to update it, since they, they have caged all the media that they shouldn't be reporting the war happening in Biafra land, we are going to be updating the world. So for you, even if you don't like what we are doing, for you to continue to be updated on the wall of the liberation of Biafra, follow us on Twitter because the update, Nigeria versus Biafra, war of liberation, have started and we'll be updating you this course every day until the day, the last day we are going to leave Nigeria. So I want everyone of you watching on Twitter and uh, YouTube to please excuse us, come to enter Biafra so they don't close uh, they don't close the uh, the YouTube channel. All right, we're going to stop you on Twitter. We're going to stop you also on uh, on uh, uh, Twitter and the YouTube. So this will be this will be stopped. YouTube stopped and uh, Twitter as well stopped. So we are now only broadcasting through the enter Biafra and so we are going to show you a video we're going to show you a video 
and uh, the video is the video of of the uh, blasphemy killing for blasphemy which uh, uh, you know we just uh, uh, according to them uh, somebody was killed in Kano State so uh, we are going to show that video and that is one of the video one of the reason we are living Nigeria and having our own freedom Killing for blasphemy in Kano, June 2023. And here we go. So if you are watching us for the very first time and you wonder why we are fighting out, fighting to leave Nigeria, fighting for our freedom, among other reasons, this is one of the reasons. Now, I want you to watch how they kill somebody for blasphemy. The reason why we are leaving Nigeria but you know the war of liberation of Biafra is on and uh, I want all of you to have the privilege to watch those who come those coward coward who come to kill our women and children and uh, come in the name of Nigeria's sponsored military this is how they call it Wutu Wutu in Biafra land, Biafra land. <laughs> Woto woto to the enemies of Biafra. They come to kill and they will die in Biafra land. For those of you who are preparing to come to Biafra to kill our women and our children, I am telling you that you cannot make it alive. You can't make it alive in Biafra land. Biafra land will eat you up. We swallow you and swallow you for good. You come to a zombie. You kill women, defenseless women. You kill innocent children. You kill them and you burn their houses, burn their properties, render them fatherless, and you think you are going to go free. You can never go free. You can never go free. The time has come. You will come to Biafra to kill. You will be killed. You will come to Biafra land to kill our children and our women. You will be killed. It is a war front. So we want to inform the world that actually what is happening in Biafra land is the war of liberation. Where we have picked up arms to defend our land. And the Nigeria sponsored jihadist movement in the name of Nigeria army comes to kill our women and our children. Unprovoked. And they can't face our securities. They can't face Biafra Liberation Army. And let me, let me tell you, the upgrade of the Biafra Liberation Army is coming. You are going to hear it by force. And this evening, we have a very strong message to the illegitimate governor of Enugu State, who were, you know, from the intel, is going from one village to another, calling people to come, especially the, the traditional rulers. So this particular warning goes to the traditional rulers and those who will make themselves available to be used by the governor of Enugu State. And I want every Biafrans to call this particular video. It's a message to the traditional rulers in Enugu State. It's a message to those who are ready to be used as PG in Enugu State. We, we have the intel that the governor is promising all of you chicken change, peanut, to gather all the traditional rulers in Enugu State and to appoint PGs, not to develop Enugu, not to chase away the Fulani terrorists in Enugu, terrorizing people and kidnapping them on their ways, not to bring stability to Enugu, not to bring security to Enugu, 
but to fight against Biafra. And I want to tell this illegitimate governor, Olu Olemba, that you are not accepted in Enugu state. Enugu is Biafra. Biafra is Enugu. You are not Biafra. You have not embraced Biafra. And the people you claim to be representing in Enugu state are complete Biafrans. And they have rejected you, rejected anything you do in Enugu. And because we have given you so much grace, thinking that you can retrace your step, we have given you so much grace, warning upon warning upon warning upon warning, and we have exhausted our patient. So now, bring that thing you have on, because we are bringing our own. Biafra will liberate Enugu from your hand, since that is the way you want it. So we are calling the, um, the, uh, the traditional rulers, those who are going to dance to the tone of Mba, you have picked up a fight that you cannot fight. You have picked up a fight against the land in which you are the Igwe, against the Biafra land that millions of children died in the 60s trying to fight for freedom. Any traditional ruler that follow Mba to betray Biafra, mark it, Biafrans will never forgive you. Any PG, a young man, a youth, who joined Peter Mba, Oluwole Mba, to betray Biafra in Enugu, Biafra will never forgive you. I want you people to go and ask question. How did Uguanyi, uh, is it Uguanyi? How did all these people he implanted in Enugu State trying to fight Biafra? How did his own end? Go and ask question before you join Umba. Why we are doing this thing is that we are not going to hurt any Biafra. What we are fighting for is for your own good, for your own freedom. Do not turn against us. Do not turn against us. That is, how, that is why we have what we call Ijunofo. We will give you grace, but don't fight against Biafra. Because people have died in this struggle. And the Biafra we are fighting for, where people have died, will be restored. It is a must that the freedom of Biafra is coming. So, the entire Enugu state is Biafra. And anybody within this millions of people in Enugu state who decide to sabotage Biafra in your own community. Remember, those who fetch firewood, infested firewood, will always invite lizard. Do not invite lizard. Leave Umba. If Umba give you money, collect the money. Always know how to dribble him. So you don't invite calamity. That is there. You that Mba is going to now to connive with. It is not for even me because I am very comfortable where I am. The freedom we are fighting for is you. For you to have good road. For you to have good hospital. For you to have security. For you to sleep with your two eyes closed. So that when you get sick in the night, ambulance will come to your house and pick you. So that your, your children will go to school. We will make you proud. You can travel to anywhere you want without somebody harassing you because you have a green passport. This is what we are fighting for, nothing else. So if you think that you are going to be used by Mba, who is looking for how to make himself richer than as he, as he, he is now, don't blame the devil. Blame yourself. When Biafra says, remember you. I'm going to stop here. All right, the next thing is to go to the unveiling of Omambala, Omambala State. Omambala State, Biafra land, will be unveiled this evening. So if you are from Omambala or you have interest in knowing uh, what is going on in Omambala, it is time for you to listen and listen attentively.
Ladies and gentlemen, be our friends all over the world. It is an opportunity I am using this evening to unveil one of the best states so far. Every state in Biafra land is best. But then, we have one of the best states so far. And uh, let me introduce and unveil the structure of the state of Amambala, Omambala Biafra Republic. Omambala State, Biafra Republic was created by the Biafra Republic government in exile, headed by the Prime Minister Mazi Simon Ekpa. Capital of Omambala State is going to be in Onicha. The structure of the state is as follows. The executive council of the state, executive governor, deputy governor, secretary of the state government, and then local government, 15 local government area representatives, uh, district, 75 district representatives, federal house of representatives, lower chamber, five representatives, federal house of senate, upper chamber, and three representative. Omambala state consists of 15 local government area and headquarters as listed as follow. Ode, the local government capital at Okote, uh, Okote. Atani local government headquarter is Atani. Osamala local government headquarter is Osamala. Fege, local government is Obodoku, the capital. Odaku, local government headquarter is Ogbeotu. Enu Onicha, local government area headquarter is Ogbe Ozala. Umweri, local government area headquarter is Obu. Agoako, local government area, the headquarter is Otuocha. Aguleri, local government area, the headquarter is in Nando. Ezi Anam, local government area, the headquarter of the local government area is Umuiku. Nzam, local government area, the headquarter of the local government area is Inoma. Miata, local government area, the capital of the local government headquarter is Mimiata. Okuzu, local government area, the headquarters of the local government area is Nteje. Obunike, local government area, the headquarters of the local government area is Unkwele, Ezunaka. Omo, local government area, the headquarters of the local government area is Anako. The 15 local government, each local government has five districts. Odekbe, local government has five districts. Okboko District 1, Okboko District 2, Okote District, Odekbe District 1, Odekbe District 2. This district will be added in the nearest future. Atane, local government has five districts. Uguane, Ocha, District, Aki District, Ohita District, Atani, Atani 1, Atani 2. Osamala local government area has five districts. Oguikwele District, Elenchere District, Osamala 1 District, Osamala 2 District, Akili District. Fege local government has five districts. Ibogu District, Bridgehead District, Osuma District, Obodo District, Obodoku 1 District, Obodoku 2 District. Odaku, local government of Omambala has five districts. Obodo District, Ven Road South District, Mobede District, Memarket District, Ochanja District. Enuanecha, local government has five districts. Omaba District, Opata, Opata New Layout District, Uguani, Ugu 
uh, Ugu na Bangpa District, Umwe Dei District, Ogbe Ozala District. Umwe local government area has five districts. Ugume, Umwe Dana District, Umwe Chesi District, Umwe 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 Tuolu District, Obu Mbede District, Nyei District. Agua Koloko Government has five districts. Obine Titi District, Nsube District, Otuocha District, Umoba Anam District, Ugu Odapo District. Aguleri Local Government has five districts. Nando District, Ibariam District, Aguleri Otu District, Ikem Aguleri Uno District. Ezi Anam Local Government has five districts. Umu Umudora 1, District 1, Umu Iku District, Umu Yelum District, Umu Oba, Dist, Umu Oba, Aba Ebu District, Umu Odora District 2. Nzam local government area has 5 districts. Ibedo District, Inoma District, Onugwe District, Odekwe District, Nzamogwe District. Miata has five, local government has five districts. Iyora district, Umweze district, Miata district, Onono district, and Agbaebu district. Okuzu local government has five districts. Okuzu district one, Okuzu one, Nteje one, Okuzu two, Nteje two, Okuzu three. This district will be named in the nearest future. Obunike has Five district, Unkwele Zunaka district, Umunya district, Obunike district, Oze district three, three town district. Omo has local government has five district, Omasi district, Ifite Ifite, Ogware district, Umwerum district, Anaku district, Omo district. Omambala House of Representatives with one representative to three local government area. Omambala South, Omambala West, Omambala Central, Omambala East, Omambala North. Omambala South has Odekwe local government, Atani local government, Osama local government. Omambala West has Asia Nam local government, Miata local government, Nzam local government. Omambala Central has Enugu Onicha, Enu Onicha local government, Fege local government, or Dak local government. Omambala East has Umweri local government, Agoako local government, Aguleri local government. Omambala North has Omo local government, Obunike local government, Okuzu local government. Omambala Senatorial Zone, one representative members to five local government areas. Omambala South, Odekbe. Local government area, Atani local government area, Os Osamala local government area, Fege local government area, Odaku local government area. Ana Omambala Central. Is All right, my people, area, Una don't see local us in the hot. Uh, this one area, is coming from the area, uh, Prime Minister of the Biafra area. government in Zaya, so in the hot. And, and of Omambala. course, you know that this is your Aguleri, channel where you need to be area, in our work here is to make sure area, that information area, uh, that you need Omo, reaches to your doorstep. Area, and this is our work. Kindly support us by subscribing to our channel liking our channel and commenting and also go. sharing this news so that it will reach out the to other people thank you my wonderful people catch you next time the world god local government area of the biafra republic and now we are going to go to the visual presentation of the